Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa. For all of you guys who are new here, take a minute, hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. So in today's video, I will be doing my dumbest Amazon purchases. I've been a loyal Amazon Prime member for a couple years now, and I feel like that gives me it causes me to just go crazy and order stupid stuff. Stuff that I don't even use. But I do still have a couple of my dumb purchases to show you, except for two of them. So we're going to jump right into this video and I'm going to show you my six dumbest Amazon purchases. So for the first one, it is a weighted hula hoop. At the time, I literally thought that I was going to do like all of this working out. This was pretty like people were pretty into hula hooping at the time. And so I figured, hey, like I know how to hula hoop, which is kind of funny because some people really don't. I went ahead and purchased a, I believe this is a two pound weighted hula hoop. I used it for maybe a good week. And this was over a year ago. And I still have it, it was tucked away in my closet. You can actually take it apart, it's collapsible, but I just put it in my closet, forgot about it for literally a year and just never touched it until this video. So yep, first dumb purchase, weighted hula hoop. But now that I've taken it out, I probably might use it. Probably not. A fidget spinner. I know you guys remember when these things were super popular, you go outside, every single kid walking down the street had a fidget spinner. For some strange reason, I figured, oh, that looks fun. And I went on Amazon and bought a fidget spinner. All I did was keep this thing in my bag for absolutely no reason. And now it's just sitting around in my room. I bought a blue one and I bought a gold one. One for me, one for my sister. And I'm not doing anything with this. And these were like 10 bucks each. So, I mean, it wasn't like breaking the bank for a fidget spinner. But why did I need this? I do not need this. Number three would be a key ring. Now, I think... I'm pretty sure these are called carabiners. This one is more of a heavy duty one. And you might think that this is probably very useful, which it is, but I don't use it anymore. It's just wear and tear from it being like on my keys for a while. It's also a cigarette lighter. I don't smoke. So why did I pay an extra 10 bucks for a cigarette lighter on a keychain? These things are so cheap. Like this purchase was so unnecessary, but I bought it because I thought it was cool at the time. And this was definitely a dumb purchase. I could have gotten a much prettier one because everything you know has to be pretty. I could have gotten a much prettier one for half of the price just because this had a cigarette lighter on it. For my fourth dumbest Amazon purchase, it's this. You might be thinking what this is. And if you're smart, it's clearly the casing of some sort of musical instrument. You are correct. Now you might be thinking, Alyssa, why is this a dumb purchase? It's a musical instrument. Yes, yes it is. A musical instrument, a violin. The only problem is I do not play violin. I have never played violin until I purchased this violin. I paid maybe like 65 to 70 bucks for it on Amazon thinking that, you know, I want to learn a new instrument. I can actually play guitar. I'm okay. So I thought to myself, hmm, I kind of want to play a classical instrument. Violin seems pretty cool. Let me buy one. I probably started practicing it five times tops and that's it. And it's been sitting in this case ever since. I've recently been thinking about just selling it and just getting something back for it. I can actually still return it on Amazon because they have quite a long return policy and it's technically still brand new. I just have to purchase like a shipping box for it. If I did decide to send it back, please don't ask questions because I don't have any answers. I really don't know why I went ahead and purchased this. On my list of things, this is definitely a dumb purchase because it's been collecting dust for the past couple weeks. So those were four things that I actually have in my room that I still kept from Amazon, mainly because, I mean, I can't return it now. I've used most of it. But the other two things that are dumb purchases was number five, a 12 ounce flask. Now for all of you guys that are of age and like, you know, you can enjoy an alcoholic beverage here and there. 
a flask can be like a pretty nice thing to have. Drinks are expensive, so like if you have your own little something, you can like use that. But this is a 12 ounce flask. Let me put it into perspective for you. I have this bottle of body spray. This is actually fancy, Jessica Simpson. It's a really good scent. Um, this is eight ounces. This bottle is like this, you know, it's pretty tall, but this is eight ounces. This is a lot of product that's in here. I randomly had a, it's all in Spanish. Uh, oh, it's an oatmeal smoothie. This is a six ounce container. So two of these equals the size of that flask. The flask was huge. It was about the size of this, like tall, and then more, four ounces more than the amount of liquid that's in this. That's a lot. That, nobody needs that large of a flask. I think the most is like four ounces, six ounces, at the most. I purchased 12 ounce flask. And honestly, I ended up just returning it and getting something else because like I said, you do not need a 12 ounce flask. First of all, it can't even fit in like a going out bag. It can't fit in a coat pocket. It can't fit anywhere. I don't know what went through my mind. I think that I was thinking 12 ounces was less than it actually was but when I purchased it. I bought three of them and of course to my shock, there's these huge flask sitting in a box. Dumb purchase, I returned it, got something else, yeah. And for my sixth dumb purchase from Amazon, it happens to be two different things. It is a gaming mouse and a gaming keyboard. I don't game. The only thing that I have is a 2DS. This is the XL, I actually have a skin on it, but I do enjoy playing this, I have quite a few games for it. But I'm not a computer gamer. I don't understand what possessed me to purchase this stuff. I had in my mind, like when I was redoing my room, I was gonna have all this set up. But here's the other stupid thing. I don't even have a desktop. I have a laptop. So what am I gonna do? Plug all this stuff into a laptop? It makes no sense. I feel like that should be my number one dumb purchase because there was nothing behind it, really. I ended up selling those and I got money back for it. I did not return it to Amazon. I sold it on, I think, Mercari. So I got something back for it. So someone who's actually a gamer is probably enjoying those right now. So yeah, guys, those were my six dumbest purchases from Amazon. I get into these moods where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, but I need this to do that. So I end up just purchasing these random things on Amazon and I have these unrealistic goals like playing a musical instrument when I have absolutely no time to learn a musical instrument so I just go ahead and buy one anyway. I don't know, I'm trying to really work on that, especially goal for 2019 and on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Before you click out of it though, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also like this video, give it a big thumbs up if you wanna see more content like this and I'll see you guys next time, bye.